Hey Gems, welcome back to Crystal Hearts 12 Days of Christmas. Today we are going to be making a tote bag. Welcome back. Before we get into making that tote bag, yo, make sure to hit the like button. Also, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe if you're not subscribed and hit that bell notification so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you guys. I want to say that thank you so much for the ones who have been watching the 12 Days of Christmas. If this is your first 12 Days of Christmas video, then go ahead and click on the playlist so you can watch all of the videos that I've made so far. And we're almost done with the 12 days of Christmas and this is exciting we've made a lot of projects but today we're gonna to be making a tote bag and it has straps we have a box stop bottom so we can fit a whole bunch of stuff in it this bag would be awesome if you want to gift something to somebody you can do like a gift bag and then they'll also have the tote bag it's awesome as a teacher gift it's awesome for you to have a work bag, a book bag, a library bag, if you want to have a bag to put your books in for the library. Whatever use you have for tote bags, even like shopping bag, this would be awesome for it. On this project, we actually have a paper pattern that you guys can follow. It's a Moda pattern that's free, and I'll link it down below if you need to go ahead and see the paper pattern. Um, otherwise, I'll be telling y'all everything y'all need to know as well, but the paper pattern is linked down below in case you need it, just for reference. And um, that's it. Let's get into making this bag. Okay, y'all, let's get into making this bag. So, you have to choose what fabric you're going to use. Your fabric choice... Um, it needs to be some sort of canvasy or thicker material because this is not a lined bag. This is just one layer. So you want something that's canvasy. Canvasy. <laughs> so I chose this print, which I think is super cute. I got it at the craft thrift, like maybe a, a year or two. I don't know. It's been I've had this forever, and it is a corduroy. So it's thicker than regular fabric. It's not exactly a canvas, but I thought that corduroy would be um, a good option as well. You will need to cut, and I know my piece is too big for the frame, but you will need to cut two rectangles 18 inches by 19 inches for the body of the bag. Then you will need to cut two strips that are three and three quarters wide by 28 inches all right for the body of the bag we need to cut squares in the bottom and we're doing this because it is going to be a boxed bottom bag so that more things can fit in it so your piece of fabric this side is 18 inches and this this is 19 inches so when you lay it out 18 inches across, 19 inches tall, and we're going to cut two 3-inch squares off of each side. And I'm just going to take a 3.5-inch ruler and measure 3 inches with it. Now we're going to put this fabric to the side while we work on our straps. So if you have done straps in the past, it's pretty much basically how you do it. If not, I'm going to show you. So you're going to take your fabric, fold it in half the long ways. And you're going to iron a crease into it. Okay, after you have your crease, you're going to open it up and then you're going to fold one side in. And you're going to iron that crease in that as well. 
Okay, you can do the same thing with the other side, fold it to the middle and iron that crease. Okay, and then what we're going to do is fold the whole thing down the center like this. And we're going to iron this all down as well. Once you've done that, you're going to take this to your machine. You're going to stitch on both sides of your strap all the way down an eighth of an inch from the edge. So you should have two stitches, two stitch lines all the way down, all the way down. So I'm going to take it to the machine and do that. Okay, y'all, we have a strap. So you're going to do the exact same thing to the other piece. Okay, so we have both of our straps done. I'm going to put them to the side. And we will get out our main bag pieces. So, on our main bag pieces, at the very top, and that means that our square parts are at the bottom. I'm going to do it one at a time. But you're going to fold the top half in, the top edge in a half of inch, a half of an inch, and press it down, fold it in again, and press it down again. So your raw edges will be creased in. So fold once, fold tight twice, and we're ironing this because we want those creases. Alright, so once you have both of your front and your back of your bag creased at the top, you're going to unfold it. We just needed to iron to get these creases that we'll use later. And then we'll lay our bags front and back, right sides facing. Alright, once you have everything together, you can clip, pin, do whatever you need to do. Alright, once you're all clipped and ready to go, you're going to sew down each side. And if uh, you're, you're lucky enough to have a serger, then you can serge those edges. You can zigzag them. You can do whatever you want to make them neater on the inside of the bag. Um, it's up to you. And then you're going to also sew across the bottom. So down the sides and across the bottom. You'll still have these holes right here, but that's exactly what we want. And everything you sew, you're going to do a half inch seam allowance. So if you're a quilter, you have to put in your mind that this seam allowance is going to be bigger. Okay, I have everything sewn. So we need to handle these corners with the hole in it. So you're going to you're going to open up the hole like that and you're going to line up the seams and you can open them or whatever you need to do to nest them, make it not as bulky. And I'm going to pin. And you're just going to sew across a half of an inch seam allowance. But you're going to do the same thing to both sides. Okay, the corners are done. And when you sew across here, you do want to lock stitch at the beginning and the end so it doesn't come apart. The next thing you want to do is get a ruler and mark five and a half inches on each side from each side. So go in five and a half inches, put in a mark, come to the other side and do the same thing. And I'm going to do it on the other side as well. Flip our bag around and it's time for us to attach the straps 
This is going to be so cute as like a, a work bag. I throw all the stuff in there to go out with the kids bag. You're going to take your strap, you're going to look for the mark that you made, and you're going to pin your strap where that mark is. And you're going to take your other end of your strap and pin it to the mark on the other side making sure that your strap is not twisted and pin and then your strap is like this and you're going to attach the other strap to the other side doing the same thing okay so here's the part that you really got to pay attention to all right, go pick one of your straps and take the pin out to do it. And remember those creases at the beginning, uh, at the top? You're going to fold down on that crease, fold down again on it so that it is encasing your strap like this. And then you're going to go ahead and pin it again to hold it there. And you're going to do that to all of them so that all the raw edges are all in and where they need to be. And when you're done it'll look like this and you want to fold in the whole top edge that way. So, Okay, as we fold around the bag we're going to clip all the way around and I got the top of my clips to the inside of the bag because I'm going to sew it from the inside but just keep everything clipped and then after we clip it all I'll show y'all what we need to do with the straps before we get to sewing to have it in the right position alright now after I got everything pinned all the way around I am going to go back to the straps I don't know where this little thread comes from alright I'm gonna go back to the straps and I'm gonna do this with each one of them I'm gonna take that pin out I'm going to fold it upwards so that when we do stitch there'll be up and not facing down and then you can clip or pin whichever one you feel is best to hold it up I'm gonna just go ahead with clips so I don't have any pins at all all right so everything is pinned and ready to go your straps are facing up so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna sew like this so that I can see where I'm sewing and basically I'm just gonna sew on the fold an eighth of an inch all the way around from the bottom of the fold to hold it down and I'm gonna do another so another line all the way around at the top an eighth of an inch from the top so you'll have two stitch lines all the way the t around the top of the bag alright y'all <laughs> so we have it all top stitch everything is attached um, so a hint is or a tip should I say is when you're doing when you when you take it to the machine from the inside stitch an eighth of an inch from the bottom and then from the outside stitch an eighth of an inch from the top that way when you're stitching the bottom you're making sure you're catching all of the bottom and then at the top you flip it over and make sure everything is nice and neat on the outside all right last step y'all last step we're gonna take take it back to the machine and where our strap meets you're gonna sew a square 
in in x so a square and an x on each part and that's just to secure your straps so that they don't break and they have more strength you may not be able to see it but I did put my X's in on every handle and we are done we have a bag alright y'all we're done with making this tote bag I'm so excited to actually use this as my work bag my little teacher bag and it came out great and I love this pattern I wish I knew where this actually came from <laughs> because I got it from the craft thrift but anyway the bag is done it's awesome I love it if you make this bag let me know join the Facebook group so you can post pictures of anything that you're making it doesn't have to be from the 12 days of Christmas it could be anything any quilt whatever if you paint you could be in the group show your painting whatever you do uh, is welcome in the group and that's it you guys we are done with another day another project once again I want to thank you guys for watching the series I'll see you tomorrow for our last day on your way out please hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe if you're not subscribed and I'll see you guys next time bye